Hello there then peeps, Science again. Today I'm going to bring you a review on the Evil Within and the DLC, the assignment and the consequence. Well basically, the Evil Within, if you haven't played it, it's a, it's a pretty cool game. It's more, more of a stealthy horror. But um, yeah, I think it's really cool. The story's pretty awesome, it's pretty weird, but I grew up with... Uh, Metal Gear Solid, so Weird Stories is kind of uh, my sort of thing. Uh, the graphics are pretty cool, like the, the way it plays, is, uh, the gameplay is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, the, the only the only fault really I can say about The Evil Within is um, it's, it's not long enough really, a couple more hours would have been a bit better, but yeah, it's... Uh, it did kick ass. And then you got the assignment DLC, which is what the video is. Um, that game was pretty cool. To be fair, I think this the DLC actually played better than the the actual game. It focused more on being stealthy, and obviously you didn't couldn't just run in guns blazing, which made the game a lot harder, which pissed me off so many times. But at the same time, it's uh, it was pretty cool. I, I did like it. I like the the new dynamic with the fact that you had uh, instead of your torch or the lantern from the evil within, you had glow sticks as well. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it was also pretty cool to just see Kidman's side of the story. the The story in the assignment was pretty good. Obviously, finding out what happened with Kidman instead of what was happening with Sebastian. That was pretty cool. The Again, there was quite a few scary moments. But, uh, it should more be, I think, a rage game because the amount of fucking times I died, I tell you, it was ridiculous. But still, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. The consequence that the the DLC, which is the part two of the assignment, that again, awesome. Loved it. Again, focused all on stealth. You know, very few weapons, even though you get a pistol quite early on, but you don't really use it very much. And then you get the uh, the shotgun, which sucks, but it's better than nothing. And uh, yeah, again, focuses on stealth. Story continues, which is pretty cool. There's not nothing really I can say. If you haven't played The Evil Within, then I, I strongly suggest you go pick it up. It's It's quite a good game. But yeah, but these are just my opinions, uh, there's nothing official, it's just what I like, and let's be honest, there's not much really to dislike, other than the fact that it could have been a bit longer, but that's just my opinion, but anyway, if you if you like this, please hit the like button, if you uh, want to see some more, then don't forget to subscribe, and please, yeah, tell me what, what if you've played the Evil Within on the DLC, what did you think, what did you like, what did you dislike? So leave some comments and I'll see you in the next one.